welcome to my channel. I am Viva Glaze. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get to know each time I upload a new video. I'm so excited. I will be unboxing this fragrance perfume from Loven Paris. Okay, so I did not purchase this perfume. It was gifted to me. So yes, I am curious to see what it is and how it smells. So I thought I'd come here and share this with you. The person that bought this for me did let me know that they mainly chose this fragrance for its packaging. They said it smells nice, but I just love the packaging and I thought you would love the packaging as well. So they got it for me. Anyway, let's just open this uh, perfume up. I do not know a lot about this house, but I do know that the founder and the main designer of this niche fragrance house is Pierre Francois Lobin. And yes, so Lobin is actually an old fragrance house. So uh, their first edition was released in 1798 and their newest in 2019. Okay, so I've just pulled out this <laughs> sample of the Bottega Veneta Knot Eau de Parfum. I guess they're hinting that I should try it and buy it. <laughs> um, we have a second sample here from Bottega Veneta as well. This is the Illusion. So I should try that one as well. That's what the bottle will look like just there. This is the inside. Tissue paper. I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay, that's a receipt. Okay, so it's a David Jones receipt. Um, this perfume was 279 Australian dollars. I mean, I don't know if you need to know that or see that, but in case you're interested in buying it, um, okay. Well, that has nothing to do with me because I did not pay for it. So yeah, that's the empty bag. And I really like good presentation. I like this orangey red color and the purple bag. Um, and it just says Lubin Paris. And I think it says Perfuma Depuis 1798. And from my understanding, Dupree means since 1798. So, I mean, we don't speak French here, so we don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's the packaging there. It says Gin Fizz. So this must be the name. Wow, actually I underestimated this packaging, but it looks really good. White with this matte writing here imprinted into the cardboard paper. And this is some sort of material that I do not know. You just slide it up like that. And you have this box, very nice packaging. Wow, no smell. That's what it looks like, wow. <laughs> Okay, that is simple and classy, okay? Heavy. 
Okay, it's on there pretty tight. Gin fizz. Isn't gin like some sort of alcohol? Yeah, actually, it is. Um, I'm not an alcohol drinker myself, so I'll be interested to try this. So this is how the atomizer sprays. Very nice. This is a spring summer scent, okay? It smells like a refreshing cocktail drink. It smells like Sprite. <laughs> you know that soft drink, Sprite? Basically, it smells like that, but you know, a little bit more concentrated and obviously you can tell the quality of the perfume um it's not easy to do citrus scents um well so they did good it honestly wow it smells like you've got some lemon or lime in like some soda it's it's a citrus that i can tolerate because there's some citruses that are too sharp for my nose it's kind of got that smoothness and a little bit of sweetness at the end, like in the base, like. Okay, let me smell it on my skin. To me, it's got a bit of lime. Like it smells like lime instead of lemon actually. Oh, I would want to wear this on a really hot day. Like crisp white shirt or blouse, with a red lip or a nude lip and you got your hair flowing and then you walk past and you know, that breeze just hits you and people get that after smell <laughs> when you've just walked past like the sea ash. And they're just like, hmm, she smells good but they don't know whether it's your natural scent because it really, it comes close to the skin. It, 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 it molds to your natural scent. Honestly, I wouldn't say it's something spectacular and you know, you must go buy this. You must go try, but I would say try it. I would say try it. Try the different ones in the range. Um, when I did go to their counter one time, I did try on the yellow one. I don't know what it's called. And I like that one too. Um, but I'd say go try all of them. This one is like a day when you don't want to be shouty, you know, when you don't want to stand out too much, but you want to smell really good. I can't stop sniffing it. <laughs> It smells good. It smells really good. Like as it dries down, you get um, that lime and sweetness. So yes, the dry down, there's a little bit of sweetness that I can smell there. I will put the notes on the screen, but like I said, this is the first time I'm trying it on and thank you for the gift <laughs> to the person who got it for me. Um, I will enjoy it well because it's going to be spring and summer in Australia soon. So yes, I will make use of it. And it's another pretty bottle of my vanity. So yes, it says Lubin just there under there. Can you see that? Just there on the silver. Yeah, the bottle is curvaceous. <laughs> you know, like an hourglass um, and this cap here does not feel cheap at all, although it may look too simple, but it's got some weight to it. Um, and as you saw, the atomizer is pretty good. So yes, this is Gin Fizz by Lovin Paris. So I have opened here a little story about our perfume here. So I'll just read it really quickly to you. Um, this is an auto toilet, 100 mil, by the way. 
Um, so it says a fresh and sparkling cocktail of the 50s. In 1955, a movie star captivated the crowds. She embodied for the entire world the very elegance of America. Her mysterious charm even captured the heart of a prince. It was in honor of her extraordinary beauty that Lubin created then a perfume which marked the decade a very chic perfume, sparkling and fresh, evoking the cocktail in fashion that year in Paris. So the top notes are bergamot, Sicilian lemon, Messina mandarin, and middle notes, iris, um, orange blossom, rose absolute, Turkish jasmine, uh, base notes, swamp lily, benzoin, iris from Florence, vertiva grass, and okmos, white mask, um, Thomas Fontaine and Henry Goblet are the perfumers. So yes, that's our little story of the perfume. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will enjoy this perfume for the summer and spring. So yes, don't forget to like the video and um, leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think of this perfume. Have you heard of this brand before? Do you own anything from them? And how do you enjoy it? Um, thank you again for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.